It's Sunday, November 23rd, 2014, and I'm Jim Sullivan with your NeilWeather.com video forecast. As of 11.30 in the morning, it is not a bad day out there across northern Ohio. There were some early morning showers. Those have pushed off to the northeast. It is still mostly cloudy for most of us. There is some sun down towards Youngstown, Canton, Dover, New Philly, although our Lakeshore counties are still cloudy. Either way, temperatures warm, much warmer than they've been recently already in the 50s, and we're on our way to the upper 50s today and maybe even the 60s by tomorrow. Taking a look across the entire country now, for the first time in a couple of weeks, we don't have a huge portion of the country seeing frigid air for this time of year. It's actually not that bad. We have a low-pressure system over Louisiana that is moving to the north-northeast, and that will move into the Great Lakes tonight. It'll bring us a shot of rain and more warm weather to a lot of the eastern U.S. for a couple of days. There is some colder air working into the Upper Plains and the Rockies, and that will move east by Tuesday. However, until then, we're going to enjoy some southerly breezes, some rain, and some warmer weather. Coming back to Cleveland, looking at the numbers yesterday, we did 49 and 16, so we did start pretty cold yesterday morning, which is why we had those freezing rain issues when those 16 hundredths of an inch of precipitation moved through Cleveland and really all of northeastern Ohio yesterday morning, but we warmed up to 49 yesterday evening. Averages for today are 47.35. We'll be above both of those records. 75 and 6 won't hit either one of those. We're running a little below normal on the monthly precipitation, well above normal on the yearly precipitation, and we're setting the sun at 5.02 tonight. All right, so taking a look through the rest of your Sunday, we'll be dry through the first half or so of this afternoon before some rain starts moving in from the south late this afternoon into this evening. Highs in the upper 50s today. And then tonight, temperatures don't really go down much. In fact, they might start rising after midnight. We could see temperatures approaching 60 by the time you walk out the door tomorrow morning. It will rain tonight. Lows only in the lower 50s. All right, taking a look ahead now on one of our forecast computer models, you can see it takes the rain several hours to move in. So most of the afternoon will be dry, but as we head into the evening, rain will start moving in from the south and the west. And there could be some pretty good bursts of moderate to heavy rain this evening. And then as we get towards later tonight and early tomorrow, it'll become more of a rain shower type pattern. So a good dose of rain this evening and then showers after midnight. And then as we head into Monday, it probably won't be a washout. We might even see a little bit of dry weather to start the day. And you can see these isobars, these lines of equal pressure, are very close to each other. So it will be breezy. And that will allow those warm temperatures to move in from the south because these will be southerly winds. As we head into Monday afternoon, a cold front will eventually pass. And I'm sorry that this is choppy. My computer, again, couldn't remember these images for more than 30 seconds. So some showers moving in Monday afternoon as a cold front moves through, and it will become pretty windy Monday afternoon with this big low pressure to our north and these lines packed very closely together Monday afternoon. We could see wind gusts around 50 miles per hour, maybe even a little bit better along and behind the cold front. Now once the cold front moves through, we'll probably get a brief period of dry weather early Monday evening, and then as we head into Monday night, you can see some of this wraparound precipitation to our west will probably move in, bringing us some light rain showers, eventually changing to some very light snow showers later Monday night. And we're going to jump right to the seven-day forecast now. Rain changing to a few light snow showers Monday night, lows around freezing, a few more snow showers sticking around for Tuesday, highs back into the 30s, no real snow accumulations expected Monday night into Tuesday. Tuesday night into Wednesday, it'll be dry. We'll briefly warm up in between weather systems. More cold and snow shower chances will move in for Wednesday night and Thursday. The snow here looks light. If you are traveling to the East Coast from Virginia, points north, through the Mid-Atlantic, and New England, there might be a swath of moderate snowfall there Wednesday night into Thursday. So that could impact Thanksgiving travel plans to the East Coast. Here the snow will be pretty light. It'll be a clipper type system for Thursday. That could bring everyone a very light accumulation with some lake effects lingering into Thursday night and early Friday. That could add a little bit more in the snow belt. Maybe enough to plow. We'll see. And then we're going to try and work in a brief break Friday night or Saturday before maybe another system moves in around next Sunday. 
Alright, with NeoWeather.com, I'm Jim Sullivan. Enjoy the short work week coming up, and check us out again tomorrow.